Tiled images are useful for many things in graphic design. They are used in web pages, button backgrounds, image backgrounds, animation, and many other types of media. Knowing how to make a tiled image is a fairly useful tool as a graphic designer. I'm sure that many of you have seen how people use tiled images on their web pages. The ones where you can see the edges of each tile, the ones where it is very obviously a tiled image even though it shouldn't be so obvious, the overuse of logo background tiling, and the list goes on. These are all ways that tiling should not be done. The goal of creating a successfully tiled image is for it to seem seamless, not to distract the user from the main content, and for it to complement the content. In this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to create a tiled image of some pebbles. The scenario. Let's say that you are creating a website for a landscaping company based in Arizona. Well, landscaping in Arizona involves a lot of pebbles since they don't have much grass. The company wants pebbles as their background. You could upload a large image of some pebbles, but that may take a long time to load on most of their clients' computers. Remember that they want to sell to their client base, which probably doesn't have a super amazing computer as you. So, you decide to create a tiled image. Well, you don't want it to look tiled, because let's face it, that's tacky. <laughs> so let us create a seamless tiled image. You can use any image you'd like, or you can download the image of pebbles from my website at kcorpier.com. That's k-c-o-r-p-i-e-r.com. Creating a tiled image in Photoshop. Step 1. Open the image of pebbles in Photoshop. I will be using CS 5.5, but the version shouldn't matter for this tutorial. I will also be using a Wacom tablet, which is recommended but not required by any means. If you would like to check out Wacom's tablets, go to their website at www.wacom.com. Step 2. Double-click the background layer in your Layers panel to unlock it. Step 3. Go to Image, Canvas Size, make sure that Pixels is selected, copy the height, and paste it into the width. Click OK. An error message will pop up about your canvas size being cut off. Just click Proceed. Step 4. You can move the pebble layer around to find the pebbles you would like to use. Once you find the pebbles you want to use, select the Crop tool and crop your whole image. This will cut off the extra width of the original pebbles image. Step 5. You'll notice that the pebbles at the top are a little smaller than the pebbles at the bottom. We will fix this with the Perspective Transformer tool. Hit Ctrl plus T. Right-click the image and select Perspective. Pull from the top right or left and make the perspective more even. This will make the pebbles about the same size. Hit Enter once all of the pebbles are about the same size. Step 6. At the top of your screen, select Filter, Other, Offset, and a screen will pop up. This will allow you to cut the image so you can see how the edges will look when you tile the image. You'll want to offset your image evenly so use half the width and half the height of your image. Half of this pebble image's width and height is 856 pixels. Hit OK once you have entered in the numbers. Step 7. You can now see that your image will have a sort of invisible line if you were to tile this. So let's fix that with the Clone Stamp tool. Select the Clone Stamp tool from your Tools menu. You'll want your opacity and flow to be 100% and you'll want the sample to be from the current layer. Now Alt plus click. Now Alt click on your pebbles and paint your stamp along the lines. It's good to periodically Alt click from different areas of your image so that the lines don't look exactly the same as where you are sampling from. Step 8. Once you have finished and you are satisfied with your image, select Filter from the top of your menu and select Offset which should now be your first selection in the menu. Adobe saves the last used filter and places it at the top of the filter menu. It's a nice way to save some time while working. This should put your image back to its original borders. Step 9. Let's test it. With your pebbles layer selected, go to the top of your screen, click Edit, Define Brush Pattern, 
name it if you want, and hit OK. Create a new layer and make your pebbles layer invisible. Select your paint bucket tool. If you don't see your paint bucket tool, click and hold your gradient tool, then select paint bucket from the menu. Step 11. At the top of your screen is a paint bucket icon. To the right of it, if it doesn't already have pattern selected, select pattern from the drop down menu. Now, with your new layer selected, click anywhere in the blank layer. If you don't see any lines, then you have successfully created a tiled image. If you want to make the tiled image look less like a pattern, you can go back and make some edits to it. Removing the pebbles that stand out, like the white ones, will help. Then repeat steps 8 through 12. Congratulations on creating a tiled image. For more tutorials, visit kcorpier.com. K -C -O -R pier.com or go to imgames.com eim-games.com